The mudroom renovation is so close to being done. This window has been sitting unfinished for a bit. So let me show you how I went from this to this. First things first, I went through and cleaned up the inside surfaces. Some of the spray foam insulation was sticking out, so I used a blade to cut it back. Next, I got a piece of quality pine and cut it to fit the width of the top. Then I traced it and cut it to be flush with the drywall. I recently started using this battery powered finish nailer and I gotta say it's been very convenient to not have to drag a compressor and hose around. The bottom shelf piece is a bit more intricate. I first marked and notched it to fit in the space most of the way, then scribed it to fit cleanly against the window and walls. At this size, it sticks out too far for the washing machine. So I trimmed the front edge smaller and then trimmed the wings a bit. The sides are cut to be flush with the drywall, just like the top, and enclose the inside frame of the window. On the face of the wall, I'm putting decorative molding. I divided up my pieces ahead of time with miters. Now that the interior trim is in, I can mark and cut the pieces to the exact length. These pieces will overlap about half of the new wood trim. The side pieces have a miter at the top and the bottom butts up to the overhang piece. Another piece of molding goes underneath the mini shelf. In order to make it look finished, I had to miter the ends inwards and add very small mitered pieces to the ends. These little pieces are too small to nail, so they're attached with wood glue. There's a bunch of nail holes and a couple of imperfect seams. I used spackle to fill all those in. Spackle dries pretty quickly which means I don't have to wait very long to sand it all smooth. I took the time to make sure there aren't any sharp corners that could poke anyone. I really wanted to get this window done, so right after vacuuming, I started taping for paint. Most of this is just straight lines, but the decorative molding at the bottom has a few funky curves to tape around. It took just over 10 minutes to tape all this. I know that because the motion sensor switch turns off after exactly 10 minutes. Oh, I was so close. I painted on a semi-gloss white. I got two quick coats back to back for full coverage. After the second coat was on and I was sure I wouldn't need any more paint, I pulled all the tape off. Removing the tape before the paint dries saves a step later on because extra paint could get pulled off with the tape. The next morning, after the paint was fully dry, I added a window shade to the inside of the frame. These are the same shades that I installed throughout the house. I like how easy they are to install and can be cut to fit the exact width of the window. Next, I used some relatively plain trim as door molding and baseboard trim. I just kind of wanted something simple to get the job done quicker. I painted them ahead of time, so finishing them is as easy as adding a bit of spackle and a few dabs of paint. Oh, I haven't mentioned yet, but we got this awesome looking fridge for the mudroom. It's like a knockoff Smeg fridge. Kind of retro, but still super functional. For the meantime, I added baseboards around here, but in the near future, I'll be building a bench and lockers to be next to the fridge across from the washer dryer. It'll have storage and look built in and finished. That's a project for later this year. It's kind of like a phase two project for this room. But for now, the molding is all in and the window is looking great. Okay, that's it for now. See ya. Thank mm -hmm. you.